What's up everybody, Evanyon here with week 7 of Fortnite Season 8. And this week, they didn't add any characters, but as you can see here, there are no new characters. But we got the Cube Queen. It's not a quest, it's just a regular challenges, I guess. You don't need to go talk to her. We're gonna unlock her. You need to have the battle pass. So, where is it? So you can access these challenges, They're, they seem to be pretty easy, like the first thing you do is you unlock her and then the rest you get the the the, the other skins, skins for her. So these are, there's page one and page two, you need to first finish one page to unlock the second one. So let's do this, cube king, page one, first challenge. Survive storm circles while carrying a sideways weapon. You need to survive five of them, and that's the one you unlock her. It's probably gonna take a while. So, because this isn't a quest, you need to talk to her. We can actually do this on Team Rumble or or solos, regular mode, whatever. We don't have to just stick with one mode. So I'm, go I'm I'm certainly gonna do this mostly on Team Rumble because it's much easier. Second challenge, eliminate a player with a sideways minigun. You get, seems to be a, an emote. So even though the, the sideways have no cube monsters on Team Rumble, these challenges don't need cube monsters anyway. So we're just going to get some sideways weapons. We're gonna try to get, oh god, <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna try to get a minigun. Because we need to get that. I believe you can only get the sideways weapons on the sideways, obviously. But also, I don't think they are floor loot. You can only get them from chests. Here's a minigun. So now I'm gonna get an elimination for one of the challenges. And so the storm phases. I'm gonna do it on Team Rumble as well. I, I think I'm on, only gonna be able to get three of them in one match. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna check. Since we can respawn on Team Rumble, it should be no problem. You just keep the weapon with you and don't die as soon as the zone closes, obviously. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it counts or not, but try not to die. Oh, there you go, first storm circle. I almost died when it closes, when it closed. So there you go, mini gun, sideways mini gun. So here I got three in one match. I think we're gonna reach the goal of 75 before we get 4, so it depends on that. And I think we got like less than 15 minutes to get that. So I'm gonna do one of the challenges on regular mode and see how long it takes to get. I think it takes longer, I'm not sure. So we're gonna get the last one here on regular mode. It took me... 12 minutes to get two zones here, okay? Challenge free, shake down opponents, two of them. We unlock a loading screen. So for the shakedown opponents, I'm actually gonna do this against IO guards. I'm gonna go for, I tried going for the IO outposts, but there was no guards there. I'm gonna try doing this with Sloan, which I think the convoy is now the new area, which is right here. There you go. Let's kill this dude. And shake him down. <sighs> I, I think there are more than two 
people here, so I'm gonna... Oh. I can down both of them. What is happening? can shake both of them. Okay. That's Sloan. So apparently just the two of them and Sloan. So we can down both of them. So hopefully they're outside of the base. Just as the reference near Caddy Corner. Or you, again you can go for what I was going to do. Let's not mess with her. I was going to go to the IO outposts and normally there are only two of them on the outposts. So I was going to down one, shake him down, let the other dude revive him, unless I can shake them down twice. If you can do that, great. If not, let the other guy revive. Is she reviving him? Let me see if I can shake him down right now. Again, I can. So just wait a little bit and you can shake. Oh yeah, I wasn't. Where is she? What the hell? What the? Okay, and that is it. Obviously, you can't do this on Team Rumble. You can only they are the guards are only available on regular modes. And if you want to do with, with actual opponents, you can do it on duos, trios, or quads. And the last challenge of page one is use a Shadow Stone or a Flopper to face for three seconds near a player. You need to do that. Is it three times or three seconds? We're gonna find out. So shadow stones are located on alien crash sites. I'm gonna get one here. I need to be near a player though, so... You can also get the fish. It's a square fish. Looks like a cube. And to phase, you just press L2. There you go. So I'm kind of confused here. I don't know what they mean. Because you have the phase with L2, but for three seconds. Doesn't make sense. I'm not sure if they want you to phase three times near an opponent. It's at seconds. It's kind of, I don't know if they want you to be close to a player for three seconds. And then, So the alien crash sites are these, the one I did. The one. Right here, you're gonna find the shadow cubes, shadow stones. And there's one here, one near Misty Meadows and Lazy Lake. Near Weeping Woods and Holly Hedges. Near Believer Beach and Holly Hedges. And near Coral Castle, Pleasant Park, Stealthy Stronghold. And that's it. You find plenty of cubes there. Again, if you don't, you can always try to fish for the shadow stone. Shadow, here, shadow flopper is the name. Any of these square guys will make you into a ghost. And you can actually carry them instead of, you know, having to use the cube and have a certain amount of time. So we complete all these, we get the, var the first variant for the Cube Queen, plus a Black Wing, Bling. So here we unlocked the Cube Queen, the first variant, the Cube Queen Obliterator style, the her Black Wing, ba Back Bling, the obliter Obliterator Back Bling. So now we got page two. We got first deal damage to players with the sideways scythe, 150. And we get two variants for her pickaxe. What the fuck was that? Wow, I'm doing damage right as I die. So I guess I'm gonna do this like this. You just need 150 damage 
With the scythe it does 50, the blue one at least. And look at that, I'm gonna die again. Without doing damage. So three hits, I, I imagine the other rarities do more damage. Alright, that's how it works. But, should be easy enough. Oh, guys. So I was hitting the worst ways possible. So I did 15 damage, somehow. Okay. Hey, that's a nice guy. You just gave it to me. Because it sucks so much. So here are the pickaxes. Well, the pickaxe plus the variant, Obliterator. Second challenge, complete a bounty from a bounty board. We get a spray. Oh, we got pushed. There you go, bouncy board. I'm gonna show you a map of all the bouncy board's locations. As you can see, you don't need to actually get the character. Someone else gets it. It counts for you. If they die on their own or leave the match, it counts for you. I tried doing this on Team Rumble, but it didn't count. So keep that in mind. It was glitch or something. I don't know what it was. Third challenge, get player headshots with a sideways rifle. Only two headshots. We got a song, her song, theme, whatever. Whoa, I just found a sideways rifle from our regular loot. So I guess you don't need to go to the sideways. It's probably just a better chance to find those weapons. Oh my god. I only got one headshot. <laughs> we traded. So yeah, headshots, you just need two of them. Doesn't matter the damage with the rifle. A sideways rifle. Wow. That was terrible. Oh shit. I was gonna give it to him. <laughs> that was terrible. There we go. Two headshots. And final challenge. Challenge four. Gliding as most stacks at steamy stacks. We get a glider, which is actually super cool. I'm gonna show you right now. So the glider, it's this. It's her walking down the stairs. Super cool. So here we go to Steamy Stacks. I'm re-recording this because I lost the footage. So all you have to do is this. You don't have to redeploy. It's gonna count right here. Very simple. You actually unlock this glider. Well, not this version of the glider, but this glider. And that's it. And there it is, the glider. And the obliterator style glider. Well, where's the stairs? Is that glitched? No, oh, there you go. And completing all the second page challenges, we get the final variant. I think it's the final variant. For the cube queen, her back bling, pickaxe, and the glider. So once you finish all the quests, all the challenges for the second page, you get the final style Island Bane for cube queen. Plus the back bling, the pickaxe, and the glider style. It's glitched again. There you go. It's kind of green. It's cool. And I believe that is it for this week. Page one, page two. No new characters, though they already preemptively left free the free empty spots so we're probably gonna have next week free characters or who knows we'll see but that's it for this week week seven only five more weeks i think i think it goes until 
December 5th, right? So still like a, a month and a little bit to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, use code Avignon at the Epic Game Store in the Fortnite item shop. And also, I never said this before, but you know, but you can click the link right here on this end screen to go to the playlist with all the videos for this season, all the weeks for this season. All right, thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.